What's up guys, Clocky14 here, and today we are back again. I'm doing a little bit different of a video, but um, doing a video nonetheless. Uh, first thing I want to do is apologize for I'm not uploading in a really long time. Sorry about that. I'm planning on getting Be A Pro back a little differently. But anyways, we're here doing a little bit of a different video and a disclaimer. I lost my voice a little bit, especially last night and I'll get into that <clears throat> so ladies and gentlemen today is January the 12th as I record this and hopefully get this out <clears throat> last night on January 11th a big thing happened in my life Alabama won its 18th national championship um, it's our sixth in like 11 years it was it was a great night to um, being an Alabama fan, really. <laughs> um, Nick Saban doing another great job coaching. Uh, Mac Jones playing hit, playing one of the best games of his career so far. And um, Devontae Smith um, just catching and running <laughs> really well, running routes really well. And just think that, like, two, three years ago, um, he caught, um, the game-winning touchdown to win his first national championship. And yesterday he won his second, um, national championship. And, uh, so then Mac Jones, see that, that's, that's crazy. Um, you know, a lot of players that, you know, um, in 2017, you know, we didn't really even know about and stuff. So anyways, I just want to kind of review the season, review the playoffs, and um, from one Alabama fan to maybe a non-Alabama fan or maybe non-sports person in general. I mean, I don't know uh, what my viewer, or you the viewer watching, I don't know what your opinions are for college football. <clears throat> so um, let's begin. Uh, Missouri, we won pretty handily. Um, we really could see uh, how great Mac Jones can play and stuff. And you know, um, you know, we get to see all that. And then I can't remember if we play Ole Miss next. I think we play Ole Miss, and this was when the hurricane was going through. And you know, it, our defense wasn't doing good. Um, Najee, Najee Harris, Najee, it's Najee. Najee Harris went off that game, and um, and our defense had a few stops in the end, but they. That that wasn't really our best defense <laughs> game, and then we played Georgia. I mean, you know, we actually kicked a fifty-one, fifty-two yard field goal, and for Alabama, kicking a field goal is great, it is awesome. And we, you know, you could have scored more points, but kicking a field goal for Alabama, you're always wondering, is he gonna miss it? Is he gonna make it? And um. I'll tell y'all what our record on kicking was later. But anyways, um, we beat Georgia. Um, you know, again, it was there. We beat Georgia. And, um, and I don't know who we played next. Oh, it might have been Texas a and I don't know. Or you might have played, I, I can't remember. But we did play Texas A&M, um, at one point, I think that's our next biggest game. Um, I don't really remember a whole lot about it, I'm not going to lie. But I remember that we were tied at one point, and it was close, and I was angry. And we just started pulling away. And, um, and, and, uh, and, uh, I mean, I'm stuttering a lot. I'm just, like, going through my thoughts. And, um, you know, that's really when Mac Jones, you know, kind of started making a name for himself at the Heisman. Seth became a Heisman candidate. And, um, at, there was a point, um, where, when Joe Bur not Joe Burrow, um, when, um, Trevor Lawrence got COVID, um, you know, after he missed two games, that was when, uh, um, Mac Jones, I think, was first for the Heisman. But, um, anyways, let's skip forward some, um, 
I don't know. I, th- I guess we're going to skip forward to Auburn. That's a big jump from Texas A&M to Auburn. Oh, what? Actually, let's not skip that far. Let's go to, I think, October 24th. The, um, a day that, uh, that some Alabama fans might want to forget. I don't know. But on the opening kickoff, we lose one of our best receivers for a good long time. Um, Jalen Weidel returned the kick from the end zone. And, uh, uh like, it fractured his ankle or fibula. It was something like that. It was going to be out indefinitely. And, um, that obviously stunk for Weidel just because, you know, he's a really good player, really fast. And, um, it just stinks to see him go like that. And, you know, you feel bad for the guy. And, um, I was like, I wouldn't be surprised if he left for the NFL, but I also wouldn't be surprised to see him stay one more season. Um, honestly, I think he might leave. Um, Jalen Weidel, um, it would be nice if he would stay. Um, <laughs> just because I think if he stays, uh, just because he was injured, um, we still had, like, two more months of football left. And, you know, that's honestly pretty early. But, uh, yeah, so we lost Jalen Weidel, and Devontae Smith would get better uh, as more spotlight came along. And then, um, and then, um, let's skip to the Auburn game now. So, Nick Saban got COVID. For real this time. Before he played Georgia, he tested positive, but... You know, I was like, I was like, cause like it was a timeline for Georgia was he tested positive on a Wednesday, and then he got a coach on Saturday, all in the same week. I was like, I don't think he got COVID. <clears throat> Let me take a sip of my water here. But um, anyways, uh, this time saving got COVID for real. And, um, this is a week we were going to play Auburn. So, this is the Iron Bowl week. And Steve Sarkeesian, who, um, has taken a job at Texas now. Um, he's done a fantastic job at Alabama. Um, thank you, Sarkeesian, for all that you've done. But he gets to coach this game. And, um, quite flawlessly, Alabama beats Auburn. Auburn has struggled. <laughs> to say at least, um, with Bo Nix. Bo Nix, honestly, has been performing all that well, but Auburn fans may think it's Gus Malzahn, who has been fired, actually. And, um, anyways, we beat Auburn, and then, um, forgot who we played the next week. I can't remember. <laughs> um, but, uh, it's December 5th. We were supposed to play Arkansas, but everything... Uh, was moved um, in a brief shuffle. So we play Ar- not Arkansas. We play LSU. And so many things happened this game. We, LSU was not playing good. They've had a horrible season. They had a lot of players leave for the draft. And um, they actually lost to Mississippi State in the opening game of the season. Um, which was pretty rough for them. But anyways. Um. We beat LSU quite handily. Um, and we, and like, all the Alabama fans are like, oh, after what they did last season, how they partied and stuff in our stadium. We, we wanted them and we wanted to beat them down on their home field. And I, I guess we did that because uh, it was an ugly game. Devontae Smith. Had the most epic one-handed grab, and like I was, I was just like, "Oh my goodness! Whoa, whoa! What happened?" It was, it was, it was really cool. And um, after that, that is when Devonte Smith started making a name for himself for the Heisman. And um, the Heisman is a pretty big trophy in college, uh, the biggest individual award. Uh, if you're new to college football. But anyways, 
Next week we play Arkansas. And um Arkansas, by the way, they've beaten their record from the past two seasons. I think they had more than two wins. They had like three. Which by the way, Arkansas is good for y'all. I've been rooting for y'all to beat that record. But anyways, um we beat Arkansas. Like I I'd say that pretty late the night before and I woke up at like twelve. My dad told me it was already thirty one to three or something like that. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> and, I, and I watched the game after that, but like, I was like, wow. And um, during that game, our uh, radio announcer Eli Gold did not get to call that game because he got COVID, and that uh, that broke his streak of like four hundred something games called, and that's pretty impressive. I mean, like Eli Gold is the best radio commentator. Um, no questions asked. So um, <laughs> uh, he's pretty good. And, um, and, uh, so, we play Arkansas. Devontae Smith makes an even bigger name for himself for the Heisman. He returned, like, an 85-yard punt or kickoff. I can't remember. I didn't really watch that game. <laughs> and, um, and, um, then we uh, move on to the, uh, to the SEC Championship. Now, think about this. Okay, we've played like a 10 game SEC season, which no one has ever done. We're undefeated in that. Then we take on a Heisman candidate, Kyle Trask. Uh, Kyle Pitts and a few of his receivers. Okay. And uh, it was a good game. Um, Mac Jones threw an interception, okay. In the first quarter, which was not really his fault, not really Devontae Smith's fault, because he threw it to him. So, anyways, they Florida starts running it back, and then Mechie, who, by the way, is going to be a big time receiver in the future. Okay, um, comes in on this guy, lays a clean hit. This is like a big hit in hockey, dude. And the guy fumbles it, and we picked it back up. I called Mechie last that night a, a cold-blooded killer. It was such a great hit. And, um, and, um, and, uh, it was, it was an entertaining game to watch. I was nervous so much. I mean, you know, we had a very good passing game. Our defense, you know, you know, our defense was getting thrown around and stuff. Um, but, but, um, you know, our offense, you know, was clicking on all cylinders, and we ended up winning the game. I forgot what it was, but we clinched the game out. It was just, it was just a really good game, just, and like, it was just a really good game, and Devontae Smith was showing why he was a Heisman candidate, and you know, Mac Jones, you know, all credit to him, he was throwing some really good balls. But anyways... So now we fast forward to the 2021 Rose Bowl at AT and T Stadium. Alabama gets the first seed in the playoffs, and we get to play Notre Dame. Now Notre Dame is ten and one. They have beaten Clemson before, but um, my new thing for uh, college football is that rematches in the same season do not go well for the team that won the first time. And Notre Dame had beaten Clemson before. And Clemson came out with a chip on a chip on their shoulder and uh, um beat Notre Dame quite handily. But Notre Dame still qualified. And um and um and uh so we come into the game and um and, um, we come into the game, we score a touchdown, you know. And then, okay, like, our second offensive drive, I don't know. We do s- Najee, Najee Harris, okay. Najee Harris is the man. He was the, I think he's the best running back in the 20, in the 2020 season, okay. He was, like, like, I was so impressed with him. 
and this man could hurdle like no one's nobody's business. And he hurdled this clean the cleanest hurdle of his career, okay? He hurdles as like a six foot two grown man standing straight up, dude. And I'm watching the game with Kylo Ben Ten, right? And we were all like, Whoa, whoa, what just happened? Whoa, man, whoa I mean like it was just his cleanest hurdle. And I was like, man, this like, wow. And, you know, I thought we were going to have some problems handling Ian Book and stuff on our defense. But, you know, no, we were fine. And uh, Devontae Smith, you know, he got like, he he got injured on a play, but it looked like, you know, he got just a singer. And he was able to stay in the game. But anyways, just our defense, you know, we didn't finish the game well, but Saban probably just was like guys we're moving on just 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 calm down i guess i don't know but but um anyways we win the game we win the rose bowl it's a pretty big honor and um and um we get to move on to the championship and i wanted to play ohio state just because you know i thought they'd be easier than clemson was and Ohio State completely blown out Clemson and Justin Fields got banged up. So about two days before the championship game, I get a little nervous. But at about the second drive, um, I wasn't nervous anymore. The way our teeth ints came out, I, doubt, I mean, that was probably our best game against a high-powered offense for our defense. Our offense, um, our offense... Nothing ever happened. I mean, Mac Jones said fumble once, but, you know, nothing ever happened. Devontae Smith, um, he did get injured, unfortunately, um, which stinks. But, um, I won't go into that too deeply, um, because this video is pushing 20 minutes. I'm sorry, guys. But, um, but, um. You know, I, just the way our offense was able to play and stuff, you know, we get good runs. Uh, the passing game was on point. And, um, yeah, I don't really have anything to say uh, about uh, the game, honestly. Um, you know, the refs made, you know, some good calls. There were a few that was like, eh. But, um, I completely forgot I skipped over the Heisman. I'll cover that next. But, um... I mean, I just watching Mac Jones trot off the field and what likely is his final Alabama game. I was I was getting a little emotional for him, I'm not gonna lie. And um and uh um just to see Dickerson come back, he got injured in the uh, Florida game. You know, just to see Dickerson come back, you know, was was really good enough. And you know, just to see Saban smiling uh, as he raised the trophy. It was it was pretty funny and pretty cool, but um, but uh, you know, I'm really lost. I lost words. I I don't know, but um, you know, this team, you know, this team is was one of the best Alabama teams. I don't know. I can make a video in and of itself just saying what my favorite Alabama teams have been and stuff. Um, you know, but I think uh, this Alabama team was a better team than last year's Alabama team. Uh, just the way we were able to play. I mean, Tua, Tua and Jerry Judy and Ruggs, you know, they're good and all. They were really good, but this this year's team, you know, as Saban said, they all bought into each other just because, you know, the season was a season of uncertainty. And, um, you know, I think that's the words well put. So, uh, anyways, now let's talk about the Heisman. Okay, so this is what I've learned about the Heisman, okay? The first season, the first half of the season, you need to play good enough to get your name on the list. And then the second season, you need to go all out, okay? We've seen that with Joe Burrow, and now we've seen that with especially, okay, Devontae Smith. Devontae won the Heisman this year. Uh, only the third Alabama player to do it. Uh, the other two is Mark Ingram and Derrick Henry. 
I think Mac Jones should win, in my opinion, because you know he's given the ball to um, he's given the ball to everyone, and you know he's been on the Heisman list forever. But yeah, I mean, like I'm glad that Alabama player won it at all. So you know, good job, Devontae. I hope you do. I hope all the Alabama players that are going to the NFL do good. And um, yeah, guys. I would really like to apologize for having this video go on for about 20 minutes. I'm sorry. I just like Alabama football, okay? And, you know, it's just it's just good to see it. We're projected. We have the highest odds to win the next championship, which is absolutely crazy. But, you know, it, it's crazy. It's going to be it's going to be a fun season next season just to see what we can do. But, um, anyways, if you liked the video, can, uh, please leave a like. Um, <laughs> that helps. Uh, that lets me know that y'all like the content that I produce. And, um, um, if you liked, if you liked the video and like the content that I make, make sure you subscribe. It helps out my channel. And, um, it really makes me happy. Um, <laughs> doesn't mean it sounds cheesy or anything, but it really does. So, um, Thank y'all for watching, and I'll see y'all next time.